A warm welcome to one and all to this Facebook live session on the topic family welfare and social welfare related programs at IGNO. As you all know, IGNO Regional Center Uchin is conducting a series of online and virtual sessions in an effort to promote IGNO programs for the January 2023 admission cycle. You all must be knowing that the January 2023 admission cycle is presently ongoing and the last date for applying to any of the IGNO programs is 31st of January 2023. So basically this Facebook live session, I would be focusing on the school on the programs being offered by School of Social Work. We all know that we want to pursue our uh, interest uh, through by joining in to any of the IGNO programs. Like how IGNO helps you. We all know that knowledge is power and any knowledge in any form will definitely enrich you in some way or the other and would, would, read, uh, would, would lead to empowerment and getting your dream job and also enhance your job prospects and skills. Hence, any uh, program of IGNO is targeted basically on enriching your knowledge and also enhancing your job prospects and skills and thus enabling you to uh, achieve your dream job. Before I go on to the programs on the School of Social Work, let me just give, a brief his, uh, give you a brief historical perspective about IGNO. Indira Gandhi National Open University is a central university which was established in the year 1985 and, and it has been accredited with NAC A++ which is one of the high, highest accreditations given by NAC and is also the largest open university in the world. In fact, IGNU was established in an effort to democratize higher education and to take education to the doorstep of the learners. Hence, IGNO is also known as the People's University. If you ask me why you should be choosing IGNO, it is exactly because it has flexible admission rules. Uh, by that I mean, IGNO doesn't have an age, uh, have a maximum age. Any person who is even 80 years of age can join to any of the IGNO programs. So, uh, IGNO caters to a heterogeneous group of learners, I must say, and the minimum age limit is 18 years and maximum you can be of any age. IGNO also offers you the flexibility in place, pace and duration of your study. By flexibility, I mean uh, if supposing you are having a job in Cochin and you get transferred to Bangalore, so to, in order to enable you to pursue your uh, uh, pursue your program, you have the flexibility to change your regional center from Cochin to Bangalore. Similarly, you can write your examinations of IGNO all over India. So that is the flexibility which IGNO offers. We have our student support services across the country. Like in Kerala itself, we have three IGNO regional centers. Like that, we have around 56 regional centers all across India and our study materials are digitized, study materials cost effective and we also have a modular approach to our programs. By modular approach I mean supposing you join for an undergraduate program of IGNO like you join any of the BA, BCom and BSc program of IGNO. So supposing by some reasons you are unable to pursue your BA program after first year you have to leave the BA program of IGNO. Even if you leave the BA program of IGNO after first year, you still get a certificate in undergraduate a degree from IGNO. So similarly, if you leave after two years of your program, you get a diploma certificate of undergraduation from IGNO. And if you complete your three years, you get your BA certificate. So that is the modular approach which IGNO follows. Our academic programs are offered through 56 regional centers uh, and three regional centers are spread in Kerala itself, Kochi, Trivandrum and Vadagara. IGNO Regional Center Cochin was established in the year 1988 and it caters to six districts and one union territory that is Ernakulam, Trishur, Palakkad, Kottayam, Idiki, Alapura 
and Union Territory of Lakshadweep. As far as IGNU programs and offer are concerned, we have an uh, array of programs and offer, basically certificate, mm -hmm. PG certificate, diploma, PG diploma, degree, and postgraduate programs. For further details and for knowing more about these programs, please refer to our common prospectus January 2023, which is available on the IGNU website, that is www.igno.ac.in. Now, the programs which are on offer under Regional Center Cochin, we have our information brochure, which is also available on the Regional Center Cochin website, that is https rccochin.igno.ac.in. In fact, there are certain programs which are very prominent and at Regional Center Cochin, and they are like undergraduate programs of IGNO, like BA, BCom, BSc. And then you have the BLIS, MA Psychology, MCOM is also another program which is very popular. MBA, MCA, MA, MSW, MSc, DFSM, MSc, uh, PGD, PGD, FSQM, DCE, CFE, and CFN programs. So presently, the IGNO admissions are open now. And IGNO admissions are basically offered in two cycles, that is July cycle and the January cycle. Now, the last date is 31st of Jan 2023, and you can apply through the link https ignoadmission.samarth.edu.in. So now we come to the programs which are on offer by the School of Social Work, which is situated at IGNO headquarter, Delhi. In fact, it, uh, the School of Social Work was established in the year 2007, and it aims at providing quality education in the areas of social work, HIV AIDS, counseling, tribal studies, and family studies by offering programs from certificate to doctoral degree. The School of Social Work at ICTO is the first school of social work to be offering social work programs in the ordeal mode, and it is the first school of social work in India to take on social work education to all the states and union territories in the country as well as to the SARC and African nations. In fact, the School of Social Work has developed indigenous high-quality self-instructional materials and uses multimedia approach for imparting social work teaching and training both in English and as well as Hindi. And the vision is to provide inclusive and quality education in social work across the country and beyond the borders. In fact, the mission is to provide quality education through open and uh, open and distance learning using multi-pronged strategies and services to reach the unreached with an emphasis on social work values and ethics. So now there are various masters, bachelors, diploma and certificate programs which are on offer by School of Social Work and we will be, this Facebook live session will be focusing on the same. The programs which are on offer by School of Social Work is Master of Social Work, that is MSW, Master of Social Work in Counseling, that is MSWC, Bachelor of Social Work, BSWG, Postgraduate Diploma in Counseling, PGDCOUN, Diploma in HIV and Family Education, that is DEFA Program, Certificate in Tribal Studies, CTRBS, Certificate in HIV and Family Education, that is a CAFE, and Certificate in Social Work and Criminal Justice System, that is CSWCJS. So now let us discuss us, uh, the programs one by one. First program is the Master of Social Work program. Now basically uh, these programs are being offered with an objective to improve the quality of life of the poorest of the poor and to uh, meet the growing demand for professionally trained social workers across the country. So basically if you are a person who is interested in social work, or interested in serving, doing professional service uh, in the NGOs, or have you would like to develop the skills of having uh, a professional social work approach towards solving day-to-day -to -day problems of human beings, then I think social work would be the right profession for you. In fact, uh, the MSW program helps the learners acquire professional skills and knowledge to help the clients to deal with their emotional and psychological problems. It, in fact, it also enables the learner to acquire professional skills and develop 
capacity in helping people to solve various social and economic problems and it also enables the learner to develop the required attitudes in understanding people's problem solving interventions so basically the eligibility criteria is bachelor's degree or a higher degree and the medium of instruction is english and hindi and the duration is minimum 2 years so to get a professional approach towards the work you are doing whether you are working in an ngo or a profession or in a, a corporate setup social work would definitely help you for those students who are interested in having counseling as their area of profession or who want to develop or make a uh, make a professional approach towards uh, counseling then for such students master of social work counseling would be beneficial wherein professional education and training in counseling which extends beyond theoretical knowledge is provided the eligibility criteria is graduation in any discipline from a recognized university and the medium of instruction is english and hindi and the duration of this program is minimum 2 years and maximum 4 years and the fee structure is uh, 36000 for the full program this uh, apart from the registration fee which comes to around rupees 300 the post graduate diploma in social work counseling is a one year program wherein again the eligibility criteria is same as that of ms uh, msw counseling uh and the medium of instruction is english and hindi and the duration is minimum 1 year and maximum 3 years and the fee structure is rupees 15000 for the full program then you have the bachelor of social work program it is basically for those who are interested in providing professional assistance to people in need basically it is for those learners who want to make a career in social work especially for those who are interested in working in ngos or a corporate level or even in any other social settings for such students bsw program would be very very useful the eligibility criteria is 10 plus 2 and it's equivalent the medium of instruction is english and hindi and the duration is minimum 3 years and maximum you can complete your program in 6 years the fee structure is rupees seventeen thousand seven hundred for the full program and year wise you have to pay rupees five thousand nine hundred plus the registration fees which is applicable the next program is diploma in hiv and family education basically it's for those professionals who want to work in the hiv field or who are working with associated with an ngo uh, which is working with hiv a field or hiv aids related issues uh, basically this program aims to enhance your knowledge and skills uh, of uh, in hiv and aids the eligibility criteria is 10 plus 2 or it's equivalent and the medium of instruction is english and hindi and the duration is minimum one year and maximum in 3 years you can complete your program and the fee structure is rupees 1500 for the full program the next you have the certificate in hiv and family education basically it imparts an integrated understanding to the learners about the issues involved in hiv aids and behavior modification and the eligibility criteria is 10 plus 2 or its equivalent and medium of instruction is english and hindi and the duration is minimum 6 months and maximum 2 years and the fee structure is rupees 1000 for the full program the next is uh, you have the ct br a ct rbs program that is which aims to support individuals working in social and welfare service sector for the tribals and the medium of instruction is uh, 10 plus 2 or its equivalent and fee structure is 1000 for the full program then you have the certificate in social work and criminal justice system that which aims to train a cadre of graduate professionals who are interested in working in the correctional settings such as jails family courts beggar homes special schools for boys and girls observation home rescue home the eligibility criteria is graduation in any discipline and the med the eligibility criteria is graduate in any discipline and the medium is english and hindi and the fee structure is rupees 1500 for the full program especially for those who are working in a correctional setting like in who are working in jails or family courts or beggar home for those uh, persons this program would be very useful 
So this was about the list of programs which are being offered by the School of Social Work. I'm sure uh, the learners who are viewing this session would be interested in any of the programs of IGNO. So once again, I would just like to explain how you can apply to this IGNO programs. You can either visit https ignoadmission.samarth.edu.in or you can visit www.igno.ac.in go to register online and click on fresh admission. Just I'm giving a screenshot of, on how you can apply to IGNO that is www.igno.ac.in. You can go to register online and click on, on fresh admissions. Once you click on fresh admission, this is the page which opens wherein you can clearly see that the last date for admission for application is 31st of January, 2023. You can create your user ID and password and uh, you can apply to any of the programs of IGNO. The only requirement is you need to scan your certificates and your photograph and your scan signature less than 100 KB. And you can keep aside, you can create your username and password and then you can log in, in and apply for any of the IGNO programs. If you click on program information, if you click on program information, whatever I have spoken now, all information is available in program information. Just you need to give it in a search option, whichever program you want to know. So basically, uh, it will give you an idea about the code structure, the duration, and the fees, and the program coordinators, and the subjects which you are going to study. Every program in IGNO has a minimum duration and a maximum duration. Like I mentioned before, a certificate program can be completed in minimum six months and you also have the flexibility to complete in a maximum period of two years. Similarly, for a diploma program, uh, it's minimum three years, minimum one year and maximum three years. For a bachelor's level program of IGNO, the minimum duration is three years and maximum six years. For a master's level program, it is minimum two years and maximum four years. So once again, I would just like to highlight the programs which are on offer by the School of Social Work and which are very useful in the family welfare and social welfare. They are the Master of Social Work, that is MSW, Master of Social Work in Counseling, Bachelor of Social Work, Postgraduate Diploma in Counseling, Diploma in HIV and Family Education, Certificate in Tribal Studies, Certificate in HIV and Family Education, Certificate in Social Work and Criminal Justice System. So these eight programs are presently being offered by the School of Social Work. Apart from this, you have lot many programs which are on offer at IGNO. There are around two, 266 programs which are being offered by IGNO. So definitely you can uh, view these programs from our common prospectus, which is available on the IGNO website. Uh, you can also please uh, follow us on Twitter. We also have a Facebook uh, Facebook account of IGNO Regional Center Cochin. Request to kindly follow us. And uh, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel of IGNO Regional Center Cochin. That is HTTPS www.youtube.com slash C slash IGNO Regional Center Cochin. Wherein many informative videos, educational videos are already been uploaded in this YouTube channel of Regional Center Cochin. I would also request all students to kindly log in to our IGNO website that is www.igno.ac.in and please uh, uh, search uh, gives common prospectus January 2023 and download the common prospectus and go through the programs which are on offer. Uh, also the brochure is available on the regional center coaching website that is httprcoaching.igno.ac.in and our link for online admissions is ignoadmission.samarth.edu.in. Uh, one basic information I would also like to share here is that SCST students have free exemption for various programs of IGNO, especially certificate, diploma, and undergraduate programs of IGNO, that is uh, BA, BAG, BCom G, and BACG programs of IGNO. So those SCST students who are listening to this uh, Facebook Live, they, are, they have complete fee exemption for certificate, diploma, and certain undergraduate programs of IGNO. Uh, and they need not pay any fees while applying to the IGNO, pro, IGNO programs of uh, IGNO programs. Also, the IGNO programs are recognized by UGC and have all the 
uh, affiliations and accreditations. Uh, I would also like to inform you that uh, dual degree is permissible as per the latest UGC norms, which can be available, which is available on the UGC website. And uh, all programs of at IGNO uh, are available to, in our common prospectors. So these are some of the basic information which I thought sh should be sharing with all of you. I'm sure after uh, listening to this Facebook live session, you would be at least interested in uh, one of the programs of IGNO. So feel free, free uh, feel free to contact us at rccochin at the rate igno.ac.in. I would also like to add that we have various online programs of uh, on offer. That is IGNO online admissions are also open now this is uh, through open and distance mode which i have shared there is an igno online admission portal also available that is a separate portal for applying to various online programs of igno so students who want to uh, apply to any of the online programs can also apply through our igno website www.igno.ac.in so hurry up the last date is 31st of january and I'm sure uh, our uh, learners, our viewers who are viewing this session would be interested in joining to any of the programs of IGNO. So thank you once again for listening to me patiently. Thank you.